Huh? Wait, what's that? The apology kid is over there. What? Forgive me. And make sure to subscribe and like for my gift card give for a chance to win my gift card giveaway of $1,000. The world of online video is pretty vast and open to new ideas and topics. YouTube enables so many people every day to upload videos ranging from music videos to Minecraft Let's Plays. Heck, there are even people who combine the two. There are tons of people in this world who express themselves online. About 1.8 billion people create YouTube channels in just one month alone. That's insane. The good thing about YouTube is that you could bond with people who have the similar interests as you. You could even get to know more about the site and improve your video making skill. Shout out to Tenpin8 and Ooflord. I met them at VidCon and they were really nice. An awesome way to talk about video improvement is in a huge space, preferably across from a theme park. Can't forget about it having five expo halls all being lettered, which also it's the Anaheim Convention Center. Every summer since 2009, kind of, the city of Anaheim becomes a beacon for creators, icons, and the community to all come together to show their appreciation of online video. This year, 2019, marks the 10th year of VidCon. That's a huge deal since VidCon has come so far. And lucky for me and a few of my friends, we got to go this year. Granted, there were a ton of cool stories that came out of that trip. So for this next part of the video, I'll try to quickly tell some of the stories from each day I was there. On the first day, I woke up at 6 and got there at 9. Registration opened at 11 and I was super early, but I did get second in line to get the wristbands. But oh boy, was that useless because the Tanacon curse was unleashed. None of the wristbands were working, so we all had to go back and wait in this long line to get them fixed. Sometime later once I got in, I was feeling hungry. While I went to go look for food, this one kid came up to me and told me to high five him if I was an epic gamer. So I high fived him because I've played Roblox before. <laughs> So that first day, I met so many people, like Infamous Swoosh, Brody Animates, that one mime from David Dobrik's videos, I think, and some I would rather not mention, yeah. Day 2. So starting right off the freaking bat, I got to the security check at VidCon and noticed a very familiar purple hat. So I go to the security check next to the person, and lo and behold, it was Junky freaking Janker. Once we were out of the security check, I went up to him and asked for a picture and autograph, then went to wait in the long line to get into the expo hall. While I was at the crowdmade booth, this woman next to me points to a keychain and asks how much for this purple thing. The lady behind the counter laughs and says you could have it for free. That purple thing was a ginger pill keychain. Around 3, I had to go to the Odd Ones Out meet and greet. And for context, throughout VidCon, I wore this hoodie promoting my social media with my characters on it. When I met James, he looked down and saw my shirt. He then asked if I designed it. I said yes and showed him my doodle graph book. He said the two were incredible and then signed my book. He asked what my name was afterwards and I told him. He then said, well, Nessa, remember to keep drawing. We then took the picture and said bye. I was just so happy. The person I've looked up to as inspiration really liked my art. And he was so down to earth too. He was told no signatures, yet he he kept the pen in his hand the whole time. This is why I love the animation community. I went to the ball pit and this one kid and I started throwing balls at each other. Then it escalated to me trying to dodge every single ball coming at me from all directions from all the kids in the ball pit. That's fun. To close off that awesome day, I went to YouTube on stage. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that that show was like YouTube Rewind on steroids. It was basically an award show for all the videos that did well this year. In between the segments of the show, they would even drop cookies and streamers from the ceiling. They even went to the point where they would shoot shirts out of cannons. Day 2 was incredible. Day 3, I went to go meet Lure. And not to flex, but I was kind of first in line. This ain't a race! He liked my shoes and signed my doodle graph book. So now the ending of VidCon, at least for me. I went to the VidCon carnival, and it had so many amazing acts play. John Cozart, Scotty Sire, BuzzFeed Unsolved, and even the Try Guys. It was an awesome show, and I'm glad that my VidCon vid venture closed off with it. Now that those stories are out of the way, here's my VidCon vlog venture.
find someone she will never love. Oh, yeah, no, it just rests on her right now. How does it feel to walk over here for nothing? <laughs> we had a chance. <laughs>
Hey guys, so first story time video. VidCon was amazing and I enjoyed meeting so many people I looked up to. It really was an incredible experience and summed up why you should make videos and express yourself online. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. It really did take a while to animate frame by frame and I'd appreciate it if you guys liked and subscribed. Your support really does motivate me to make more content like this. Thanks for watching.